Yeah, hey, Matthew, dear Lando Ledbetter from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. I heard, uh, I saw one interview with you um, uh, or on the, uh, well, I didn't see it because it's on the radio, but <laughs> talking about you in a football camp and you went to Syracuse, you grew up playing hockey. Uh, tell us about that camp and how you've made your way to football. Man, it was it, it was it was crazy. So basically, I came down for a Syracuse camp. You know, I wasn't being recruited at all. And you know, my my high school coach here in Canada, he just, he told me he's like, man, you got talent. I think you could compete with some of the guys down in the U.S. And then you know, made a road trip with the guys, paid for a hotel for one night. Next day, went into camp. And when I got into camp, I realized like, man, I'm the best tackle out there. And I made I made the most out of it. And I got a my first offer, my first and only offer, and then next year started for Syracuse. What'd you uh, what'd you play in hockey? I was a defenseman, but that that was that was back in my day. That was I was like 10, 9 years old. I can't skate now. I lost it. Uh, did any of those skills transfer to football or it just came naturally to you? I think I think my my balance. I think, you know, being on, on ice skates, you gotta have a certain balance. And I think that translated into my style of play and how I play football. And I, I saw where you've been playing tackle on the right and the left, and, and they listed you as a guard. Do you think you can move inside at the National Football League level? I think I could play any position on the offensive line, and if, if I'll do anything to help the Falcons win games and run the ball. Thank you. Thank you, Michael Rossi. Hey, Matthew. How are you? Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Just to, be, just to be clear there, so at Syracuse was your only – FBS offer, is that right? Yes, sir. Only offer, only college offer. Period. Okay. Um, yeah. How how much of a transition do you think it would be if they moved you to guard? I think it's easier to move from outside to inside, especially when you play your whole life at tackle. Moving inside, you know, you got your cushion, you got the center, you got the tackle next to you, and uh, you know. If you play if you play tackle in college, you, you're an athlete. You know you're athletic. I think moving inside and using my you know athletic abilities to you know my strength that I have, my natural strength that I have to compete with those you know bigger, stronger guys inside. I think it could be an advantage for me. Have you have you worked it all like in the training process between you know from the end of the season? Have you worked it all inside? Have you tried to simulate any of that, or will this be completely new if that happens? I played. I played the whole senior bowl practice at left guard. What was that like when you did that? How did you? How do you feel like it went? I think it went well. I think I was getting better as the day went on. You know, obviously the first series, the first period, there was an adjustment, and I feel like throughout the day I was getting better and better, and it adjusted with like you know taking more depth and not jump setting it all the time. <laughs> Thanks, man. Congratulations. Josh all right, thank you. Hey, Matthew. Nice to meet you. I, I wonder if. The fact that you've been playing football such a relatively short amount of time makes you feel like you've got a lot of growth potential at the position. Yeah, well, I've been playing American football for four years, but I've been playing, you know, football in general for like over 10 years. It was just Canadian football. Do you do you think that you are as far down the line as some guys have been playing their whole life, or do you think you've got some more room to grow? I think everybody has room to grow. And I think, you know, I think I got a higher ceiling and I, I feel like we're NFL coaches. And I think my game is going to take, you know, next step. To uh, follow up on that senior bowl, that was a one day that you spent at left guard? Yes, sir. It was uh, the Wednesday practice. And as that works, that means that uh, somebody there uh, wanted to take a look at you. Did you have any talks by chance with the Falcons about, about that possibility? Can you repeat that? Um, who, how did that happen? How, how did that? How was that suggested to you? To play guard? Yes. Uh, I just came in Wednesday morning, and my coach uh, Ryan Mahaffey, he was assistant coach for the Green Bay Packers. He, he was my O line coach there, and he just told me like, "We're going to put you at guard today," and I went in and you know played guard that day. That's it. And did you have any conversations with the Falcons by chance about that possibility? Yeah. I did, you know, I talked to them, uh, you know, senior bowl combine uh, coach came up to my pro day and, you know, we talked about that, my versatility and I was important to be versatile, especially in your rookie year. And I told him how open I was. And I just, you know, I'm an, I'm an aggressive, I'm an aggressive dude. I want to play physical. 
And, you know, whatever I got to do to, you know, help you guys, I mean, help the Falcons run the ball, I'll do it. Kind of going off of that, um, what were your conversations with the Falcons like? And at what point did you maybe think, oh, they might pick me or this might be a real possibility for me? Uh, I feel like after pro day, like I, I had a really like hard to hard conversation with, with the O-line coach. And I feel like it was just like deeper than football. Like he knew that I knew my, you know, my, I knew my playbook. I knew my assignment, all that. We we just went deeper than football, talk about life, talk about my family. And that's when I, you know, I really thought like, damn, Atlanta could be a possibility. What do you know about Atlanta, if anything? Why I know about Atlanta? <laughs> uh, I know, I know the, Bra I mean, I know the Braves and I hate Georgia Tech. <laughs> All right. No? Yeah, Matthew, uh, kind of along these lines of meeting with the Falcons, um, what were your impressions of getting to meet with Arthur Smith and just how excited are you yeah. to play with, uh, you know, a guy who's an offensive line kind of guy? I love it. I love it. You know, in Syracuse, we ran the ball well, and that mentality of wide zone and running the ball, I think that fits well with me and what I've been doing in Syracuse. And just when you turn on my film, I just, I just want to be physical, and I feel like that's something I could do in Atlanta. Uh, you're talking about that physicality, Matthew. How much do you feel like you're talking about that connected with the Falcons? Because that's a lot of the way that they want to play. Can you repeat that? Talk about playing with physicality and being a physical player. How much do you think that appealed to Atlanta? Because that's a lot of what they want out of their offensive line. I mean, they, they want the top rushing teams. And, you know, they just drafted a running back. And I feel like that's the, I, I feel like they want to go into that. They want to, you know, move people around. They, they want to get some yards and I feel like I'm I'm the right person to do it, whether it's inside or outside. So thank why, you. Why do you hate Georgia Tech so much? <laughs> well beyond the series. I mean I play in the ACC. Well I know but you said what it's not a natural rival for them. <laughs> I know I'm just saying I play in the ACC and I just hate every a ACC school. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's all good though. <laughs> Matt, you mentioned uh, your conversation with uh, with Coach Ledford and just, you know, how deep and, and that they want to get to know you as a person. One thing they're looking for, you know, is, is really character in the locker room. Um, and as a team captain, you know, what kind of qualities do you think you'll bring to this, this team and the locker room and the culture? I feel like I'll bring maturity and, you know, consistency. And I feel like that's something important. Just coming in, like, I know, I know it's not going to be easy. My rookie year, I know I'm going to have some ups and downs, but I just want to learn from the vets, from the older guys. And I feel like I'll come in every day with that same energy to be physical, whether it's first practice or fall camp, whether it's practice 15 or fall camp and the sun is blazing. Like I'm going to bring that same energy and that same, you know, uh, I don't know how to say that, like that same one in the, 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 uh, to learn and stuff. Yeah, I just need some n uh, numbers checked out. Uh, we, we got you at 6'5", 318. Is that correct? And then what did you do on your bench press on your pro day? I mean, I ate good tonight, so I'd say probably like three twenty-two. Be right, <laughs> and and for my bench press, I did twenty-nine. Okay, thanks. Yeah, what'd you eat tonight? What'd you... We had wings. <laughs> How many wings can you put away? I like this guy. La hey, last uh, I think what, what was it? It was like three months ago. I ate thirty. But you can't tell that to nobody, though. Don't write that. It's between me and you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks, Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. All right. Thank you, guys. All right.